Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Lynn Life. It's an absolutely beautiful summer day today. And t today is actually the summer equinox. It's the longest day of the year. We get about, mm, I think it's about 16 hours, just over 16 hours of daylight today. And I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate by making some stewed rhubarb. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. Well, I've always said whatever happens that week becomes our next Lynn life. And uh, we haven't had anything really, uh, you know, unusual this week other than a string of some beautiful weather. Uh, Lynn's been out here uh, for the last three days. I'm sure we'll be, she'll be out here again later on today. She's having a little rougher day today. Um, it kind of goes along with her sleep and uh, yesterday was good but the day before she had a rough day so it's almost every other day it's not always like that but just the last few days it's been like that and uh, she, if she doesn't sleep real well she gets a little anxious during the day and uh, it's definitely a, a form of anxiety and uh, like this morning when she woke up she thought she was late for work so a lot of these old memories are there and they stick with her throughout the day when she once once it's in there she wakes up with that it sticks with her and uh, sometimes it can result in her not sleeping well that night so uh, which then I don't sleep that well um, so I'm hoping that we can get her uh, in a groove today. Uh, just came back from the store. I went and bought the uh, rhubarb and I bought her a bouquet of flowers. Lynn loves flowers. She loves getting flowers. So I'm hoping that'll maybe change things a little bit for her. I'll do anything. I'll do anything I can to help her out. But I am going to make stewed rhubarb. And that's something for me. That's something I've always loved. It was uh, it was my aunt, my father's sister. We used to visit them during the summer when we lived on Long Island, and uh, we uh, I remember mornings, you know, for breakfast she'd make me or not make me, but give me chilled stewed rhubarb in a little bowl, and I loved it. I love that sweet and sour taste of the rhubarb, and I love strawberry rhubarb pie. That is uh, one of my favorite pies. So, and I do have strawberries. Maybe I'll throw some strawberries in with it as well, because it is strawberry season here in upstate New York. So uh, I went to a farm stand, and I got both <laughs> rhubarb, strawberries, and some fresh peas, which just came out, their own fresh peas. And we're going to have those tonight. With some, we're going to grill some chicken. And it uh, should be delicious. But I'm going to chop up some rhubarb and stew it. And you're going to do it with me. The first step is to chop up all the rhubarb. And uh, please don't get on me about my knife skills. I'm not a chef. And I probably don't have a very sharp knife either. But... Uh, you do. You have to wash the uh, uh, the stalks first. Maybe trim off either end. I'm using about two pounds of rhubarb, and you got to cut them into small pieces, and then I put them in the pot I have over here, and uh, and then I'll add uh, some of the other few other ingredients that are necessary as well. Um, this knife definitely isn't very sharp and there's like a little skin 
on the outside and that's why I, you see me kind of sawing it here a little bit because it, it has a consistency of celery but once you get to that little bit of skin there it doesn't want to uh, uh, get through that so I have to kind of saw it at the end here I'm switching to a, a sharper knife different knife anyways and uh, it's working much better it cuts through that little bit of skin uh, some interesting notes about rhubarb is don't eat the leaves the leaves are poisonous if eaten in like uh, large enough quantities could actually be fatal to uh, humans and uh, you know other animals so just cut it up in about pieces this big and put it in the pot here check out these knife skills now I'm moving So it takes a few minutes to uh, cut up all the, all the rhubarb, make sure you have the right knife, and Lynn's in the other room and she is snoring right now. And that's a good no, thing. I'm not. Oh, oh, she said, no, I'm not. She can hear me. You're not snoring, Lynn? No. I was just hearing something that sounded a lot like snoring. Wasn't me because I got off a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it, Lynn isn't snoring. It wasn't her after all. But if you wanted, if you wanted to snore, be okay. I am talking to all our people on the Lynn life. Yeah, you're going to be on camera. Lynn wants to be on camera too, and she's not snoring. So. I'm not snoring. I know she's not, not snoring. Even not even sleeping, nothing. But it would be good if she did. It would be okay. It would be a good day to take a nap. No, I'm not coming. While Lynn wasn't snoring, I put in one cup of water and I'm putting in two cups of sugar. And then I kind of stir it up a little bit. There's a lot of water in the rhubarb itself. And then there's a recipe it says also put a little bit of lime juice in it. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of that in there too. Then turn the stove to like medium low and stir it up as it's heating. Stir occasionally. Smells like rhubarb. Yeah, keep stirring. It's this is what it's uh, supposed to look like. This is really breaking down. Those big chunks are disintegrating. Smells great. Well, we had a delicious dinner. We did. And what do we have for dessert? Do you remember? Vanilla ice, ice cream, cream with, with rhubarb. With vanilla ice cream with, with rhubarb. Rhubarb sauce on it, huh? Yes. Was it good? It was a very good. It was very good. Lynn's not as thrilled of the straight rhubarb sauce. Like I am, I just assume. I mean, I had it with ice cream as well. And it's delicious that way. But I, I just like the straight rhubarb sauce. And as I was finishing the rhubarb sauce today, I got a call from my cousin Jim on my cell phone. And what? And uh, he was asked me a question about something else. But I said, you know, that's such a coincidence that you're calling me right now because it was his mother, my aunt, that introduced me to the rhubarb sauce and used to give me the sauce in the morning with my breakfast, which I'm going to have tomorrow morning. I'm going to have rhubarb sauce with my breakfast tomorrow. And uh, he didn't remember actually having that himself. He remembers the rhubarb sauce. He remembers strawberry rhubarb pie and rhubarb pie that his mother would make. 
<clears throat> and he always liked that, but he didn't remember. So maybe it was the special. Maybe it was something that she used to do for me that was special. But uh, it was good talking to my cousin, Jim. Either way. And it was, I'm really glad I got to make some of that sauce. And that was delicious. It was. And I'm glad Lynn's out here enjoying the weather on our patio. Right? You see any animals? No. I do. A bird. There's a bird there. Way over there, there's a squirrel looking at you. Where is it? Right over there in the grass. Looking at you. He's thinking of coming over. <laughs> Where Are is you? Huh? His name. I don't know. I don't think he has a, a name. We have uh, the rabbit, Elvis, who comes over and visits with me uh, each night after dinner, right around now. He'll probably be coming out. And uh, he comes quite close to me now, and I've been giving him uh, some uh, lettuce. And he'll come over and eat it. So, uh, are you going to help me put a close on this video? Do you remember what we say at the end? So long. So long. Farewell. Well. <laughs> and I don't know what. We'll see you. We'll see you next. On the lane. Right. So let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, two. three. We'll, we'll see, see you next time, time on the, the Lynn Light.